in today's video, I'm going to be taking my client from this to this. Now let's get to it. So to start off this cut, I'm going to grab my three guard with the lever open. And all I'm trying to do here is debulk the area. That means I'm just taking it down to a manageable level so we can go ahead and start this fade. So I'm just working with that three guard, trying to take it down as much as we can. And now to establish that bald line, I'm going to come in with my lever closed and start at the end of its eyebrow. And then I'm going to slope it around the ear and drop it in the back. Doing the same thing on the other side, just connecting it right there. And now we're going to bald out the rest with our trimmer. And the reason I did it this way is because it makes it a lot easier to get rid of that first guideline since we didn't take it all the way down, you know, to trimmer level. And now to take it even closer to the skin, I grab my Babyliss, um single UV foil shaver. And this is just to take it closer to the skin and really make that blend pop. And now for the next step, I'm going to come in lever open on my clipper. And I already did it here. I forgot to record it. So I'm going to show you uh, how I connected it to the other side and the back. We just went up about a finger's width here. And now to start getting rid of that line, I close that lever halfway. And then I'll close it little by little as needed until we get this blended out. And as you can see, we're starting to work this line right out here. And now we're going to grab our one guard with that lever open and we're going to do the same thing going up a fingers width once again. And we're just fading up here, staying real clean, real consistent, maintaining that drop shape in the back. And now the biggest guard we are using um, is our two guard open for this fade. And I'm just coming in and flaring out as I get towards the top. I'm not trying to create another guideline here. So you'll see me just coming off the shape of his head, not digging into those curls. And like I said, this client usually gets, you know, a taper. So I didn't want to be too drastic and take this really high. So now I grab my one and a half with the lever open and I'm going to tack this line right below that two guard. So I'm going to start off open and then I'll close it little by little as needed. So right there, I close that lever all the way and we're just working at this line, moving towards the back. And now right below that, I'm going to grab my half guard with that lever open. And just as you would guess it, I always start off open and then I'll close it little by little. So I'm open here, seeing how much it takes off. And now I went ahead and closed it halfway. And I believe after I do halfway, I close it all the way, which I did right here. And that should pretty much get rid of that last line. <clears throat> and then we'll go back in detail. So I have some exciting news for you guys, man. So recently I've been working on an online academy slash course where my goal is to go way more in depth with you guys and really share everything that I know from the skill of cutting hair to building clientele. So all the questions that you guys have, um, I want to be able to provide value for y'all. So if that's something that you are interested in and would like to join, make sure you drop a comment down below and be on the lookout because I'm actively working towards dropping that very soon. So again, drop it in the comments if that is something, you know, you are interested in and we're going to make that happen. So after we got through the steps of our fade, I want to go ahead and line up his arch. So I started at the top and then went to the bottom and connected it in the middle. And now I'm going to come in with my thinning shears to go in and soften up this blend. But as you can see, it's coming out very clean so far. And I forgot to record his beard blend, but, you know, just a reverse taper, really. And now we're going to go ahead and trim the top. So I want to go ahead and dampen up his hair. I don't want to make it soak, but I want to make it, you know, manageable. So you want to make sure that his hair is fairly damp. 
and we're just really trimming off the ends trying to even it out as much as possible because as you can see he's a little light towards the front so we want to keep some length to go ahead and cover that up as much as possible so i didn't create any sections here i'm just kind of pulling from the front being very careful to make sure that everything is even and the reason i chose to do it this way is because he has curls um and with curls it definitely is a lot higher it's easier to hide any unevenness but at the same time i don't want to have to keep combing through the curls to create sections so i just started in the front and worked my way towards the back And now we're moving towards the side, connecting it with all the rest of the length on top. And you can see we're just staying clean, consistent, making sure we follow that guideline that we established in the middle. And now we went ahead and dried it and we're going to get into the lineup. So I pulled up the front part of his curls and we're going to line up, you know, his hairline underneath. So I started in the middle and worked towards the right side of his corner, keeping it as natural as possible while at the same time trying to get it as sharp as we can. And as you can see, he's a little light towards the front. So we're trying to make this, you know, as sharp as we can, but we are going to use some enhancements to go ahead and really give it you know that fullness effect and the instagram quality by client's choice obviously so now we're going to use our 245 um sean cuts hair card with our kiss express in the in alcohol mix and we're just going to spray that on the hairline not trying to make it look super fake but we want to give it you know that density look so it matches the hair on top so I'm pulling away as I do so to make sure that it is, you know, not too dark. And now we're just detailing the fade with the corners. It came out super clean. And now for the beard, we're going to knock it down to a foreguard with the grain. And this ended up taking off a lot more hair than we thought it would, but... It still kept it full and dark, which is what he was looking for. And now we're going to line up his mustache, just cleaning it up off his lip and then lining up the top. And now for the beard lineup, I want to keep that as natural as possible as well. I don't want to dig into the beard. Just staying right outside of it. And then for the bottom, we're going to stay right above his Adam's apple. Not on his jawline because we want to keep it fairly low, but right above his Adam's apple. And you can see lining it up there makes the beard look so much fuller, a lot healthier. And now I want to stretch the skin and use the razor to really take it to a whole nother level. And my guy is looking fire, way different from when he came in, right? So now I like to start at the top of the beard. And now I'm going to go to the bottom. I'm going to hit it with my trimmer first because it was a lot of overgrowth. And then I'm going to meet those two points in the middle. And I always like to wipe away that initial ass line to make sure that it's, you know, really sharp and crispy. And then I went ahead and relined it. But this is how my client came in looking and this is how we left leaving make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and i will catch y'all next time but youtube family i need a favor all right your boy was nominated for a grammy yes i said a grammy a barber grammy at the ct connecticut barber expo and i need your vote all right so i'm gonna show you exactly how to cast your vote so what i need you to do is open up google i'm sure most of you guys know how to get there and then you're gonna type in ct barber expo just like right here at the top and then you're gonna press on the website let that load press the three tabs at the top and you're gonna go to grammy nominees all right so when you go to grammy nominees that's gonna load you want to go under creative content and press vote now 
Now the creative content is for the barber who has the best creative content of the year. And when you open it, I'll be the first one at the top. So you're gonna go ahead and press vote now. And then you're gonna type in all your information. In this case, it's me, obviously. With your email, let's pretend that went through. And then you're gonna go right here and press J Clipper Hands and press submit, man. That's all you guys have to do. Listen, I need your vote. It would mean the world to me if I can get this award. Um, I appreciate all the support and love you guys have given me this far, but I need this favor, man. Again, go to ctbarberexpo.com and vote Dre Clipper Hands for creative content of the year. But fam, luck always, I appreciate you, and I will catch y'all next time. Peace.